Hello there, and welcome. Mass Effect 3 is finally done, and I'm nearly done with Call of Duty, which will be replaced with a much better game, Doom Eternal. And we're also still working on Half-Life Alex. but I'm finally done with Half-Life 3, and out of my massive excitement, we're going to jump straight into Andromeda. I just installed it, so now you get to see all the stuff that I get to do. I do have other commitments this morning, so I'm probably not going to get to play for very long, but we can at least get through the setup so that next time we can actually boop, get the story started, and then we can party. I mean, I'm using a headset, so I'm just going to leave it in stereo. Make it kind of dark and gritty. Well, let me go past 100%. Alright, we're gonna go then. What is this noise? Well, yeah, of course it has to have access to the hard drive to, to save files and stuff. I didn't know there was a multiplayer. Gross. I don't play with others. Don't play well with others. I can talk. Oh look, more loading to do. It took a long time to load all the shaders just to get to the menu and now we're doing it again so i'm gonna pause my recording and depending on how long this takes i might not get to record anymore today but before i do that uh thanks for being here and i'll do my traditional you know, like comment subscribe plug because this is youtube and i'm obligated to do that so Leave me a comment, tell me uh, what I should do after Half-Life Alex. Should I keep playing Mech Warrior 5? Should we do something else? But I'm almost done with Call of Duty. When that's done, I will be glad to be rid of it. And I'll install uh, Doom Eternal. And I now have all the DLC stuff for it. So that will be actually enjoyable for me. And we can pretend Call of Duty never existed. And we'll finish Andromeda and Half-Life Alex, And there will be the three games. Three games, three days a week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's the plan. But Half-Life Alex isn't that long. So we'll see... What I replace that with. If I keep playing Mech Warrior 5. Or some other VR game. I think I have a couple unplayed ones on my list. I mean, VTOL VR is fun. If I can get my brother online to play... I mean, that was the reason I bought it. Like, he's, oh, I got this game. Like, we should play together. It'll be much easier with two people. And then, I never did. So life happens. College gets in the way. And college for him, not college for me. I already did college. Anyway. Through the magic of video editing, I will see you, possibly, when this is done loading. Oh, man. What a mess. This... Mass Effect is going to be a pain for the foreseeable future. I don't understand what is the problem with EA. I thought I'd fixed it this morning. I left, sat for nine hours, came back, wasn't working anymore. Like, I just. Steam says I played the game for nine hours. Like, I just left the game sitting at the main menu while I was gone doing stuff. But I came back and it was just a black screen. So I had to close the game. But I couldn't just reopen the game even though I jumped through whatever magic hoops to make EA work. EA wasn't working anymore.
So, now... We get to start the party finally. I I already loaded all this. It's gonna make us load this, you know, 15 minutes worth of shaders every single time. No wonder this game sucks. All right, it's back. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'm not one of those. I'm going to play Mass Effect like I normally play Mass Effect. As a guy, roughly model after me, that plays as a soldier without law. Oh. Biotics or tech powers or any of that weird, fancy, smanchy alien stuff. got uh, the boring character creation part. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on how you think about it, we're only uh, going to be stuck with this character for one game and not a whole trilogy. There is the brow depth. I was like, I don't see anything changing. Whatever. I'm tempted to just hit random and send it. Why is the cat so excited? Come here. Meow? What? What are you doing? I don't. Oh. Hmm. Understand the animals. Of that. What? What are you doing? What's your problem? Okay. Now that the cat is done yelling, now the important question is. Before I waste any more time. Oh. Can we, uh, can I get a beard? What's a man without a beard?
Or is there gonna be? Oh, wrong. There, up here. I don't talk about. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know why. Like I was fine, and then I sat down, and doing all the stuff with EA to get this to work. Just sucked the life out of me. come up with like what is that why is that a thing where did they come up with that that just makes him look like a kid wearing a fake beard to look like an adult Because you're going to have, you know, the time. It's Neffy. I used to work with a guy. His name was Neffy. This is totally what he looks like. Ah, uh, like, going to move the brow a little higher, a little further forward. What will happen to that guy? Oh. How many different hairstyles do we need? Getting into the uh, female hairstyles. Gotcha. There we go. What was that like? Oh, that was it. That was not what I was looking for. One that was this. Eight. Yeah, well, it's not short. Not combed. <laughs> Lazy. That doesn't look right at all. Oh. Ooh. Do like uh, the, the Anakin Skywalker, like as he's becoming Vader, like the angry yellow red Sith eyes. Man, this is work. I just do like a random. I didn't know that was a thing. I just... No, it's not vibing. 
I'm going to stick with the regular boring guy. And then at least it'll look right with the sister. Although, the name... I know too many Scots already. The name we do have to change. It's something... Oh. Something random, but epic sounding. Rathamir. Cat, what are you doing? I swear. Cats are weird. Security. Alliance Military Service. Focus learning everything you could about weapons. Biotic. Technician. A leader. Or I guess for the sake of... I can't talk. For the sake of the audience. I'll read the stuff here. During your Alliance Military Service, you focused on learning everything you could about weapons. And tactics. Concussive shot. Turbocharge. Combat fitness. Biotic is designated biotic during your alliance military tenure, assisting cohorts with your ability to control mass effect fields. As a technician in the Alliance Systems Military, you learn to operate drones and hack enemy systems. You can overload, invasion, team support. A leader, a team player, and a natural leader in the Alliance Military, working closely with your cohorts for their safety and the safety of others. Energy drain, drain your target's shields, annihilation, wave shifting aura of mass effect fields around you to slowly damage nearby foes. Team support. Develop specialized technology to bolster the survivability of your entire squad. A scrapper. When the fight broke out, you were always the first soldier in the thick of it. Mostly according to Alliance Military Protocol, and occasionally not. Charge. Launch yourself like a comet at the opponent, and regain a portion of your shields on impact. Combat fitness lets you carry more. Operative. You studied covert special operations and the tech used by special forces. Knowledge you rarely find a, new, find a use for until the Andromeda Initiative. Tactical cloak. Employ a light bending technology to become invisible for a short duration. Gain a large damage, damage bonus when you break the cloak to attack. Combat fitness lets you carry more stuff. I guess since kind of what I do in real life, so I'll stick with the technician even though I don't, like I've always only ever played as a soldier, but I guess for entertaining purposes, we will, oh, cool. do something else. I did just finish my Commander Shepard female femship, Mass Effect 3. You all saw that. That's, that's it. Okay. Hardcore. Because anything else would be a uh, week. And now we can see where this starts. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. 
Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. It makes me think of the crucible with the four arms and the ball in the middle. Uh, dropping out oh, my flashlight. 2185. Humanity leads a golden era of interstellar travel. The discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology heads thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the hundred thousand adventurers embarking on this one way voyage, Good luck. Six hundred and thirty four years later, zero hours in one day. Imagine being met for or separated. But you can't, it's not possible. 600 years. Period. It's 20,000 souls. See, they'd be like Columbus leaving Europe and just now getting to the New World. How do you know? You Deep breaths. Set up. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? Both of those are extremely valid things. Process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Uh. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving. I wonder if the Asari, like with their biotics, if they can just like feel your nodes. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Emotional, logical, casual, professional. Well, he's got a point there. You should train until it's easy. Professionals train. Like the, the idea is uh, an amateur trains until it can get it right. The professional trains until they can't get it wrong. Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something. Word came down. The Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? 
Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? Yeah. Awake. I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we packed more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around I while we revive enough. your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Using the mouse to look around. Try to brace yourself. The Remedy Crowd is offline. Of course, now that we're not touching anything. I'm almost inside. Hold on. There's nothing you can do. Bad gravity. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <clears throat> Everyone okay? Uh, I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get. Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. Oh boy. I mean. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well? It looks like some sort of power surge hit the stasis pod. Are they okay? I'm running a diagnostic now. Give it a second. The Are they okay? Did the seals break? No. Physical integrity of the I chose the male character, so therefore the other one is female. Well... There. The power cycle is free. No structural damage to the pod. All connections check out. It's just bad timing. Interruption in the respiratory cycle. Maybe. You can't right. just press it, you have to hold it. Is my sister it. okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can she wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, She'll be I fine. See. We're just going to put her in updated. a coma. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Right. Well, then again, this isn't a sorry we're talking about. And be a sorry are being, you know, monogendered. And in Andromeda, specifically, like they intended specifically to be more androgynous. So, using they, them pronouns in this context, I guess, is understandable. Who knows how old. Uh, Tapero is what uh, welcome to Andromeda. Still in stasis. Many centuries of uh, habit she's got. Sweet dreams. Who's Hayes? It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. Hi there. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. I don't have time for this. 
I'll just go do fun stuff. Enjoy your nap, Ryder. Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe not. Hey there. Hell of a wake up call, huh? Didn't expect that bursting out of stasis. Makes two of us. Hang in there. See you around. Okay. Gravity loss means something. Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon. Or I don't know. Good to see you, Ryder. Uh, sorry, it's broken. This definitely feels different. Hello, traveler. Welcome to your first day in Andromeda. This is the dawn of a new era as you recover from stasis. Know that you are in good hands. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion and joining thousands of your fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and build the new life you've always dreamed about. It's been a long wait. I promise you, it has been worth it. Whatever. Has Cora always been that short? Where are you from? You ready? What's wrong? This equipment is operating normally. There's no Scanning. indication of a fall. Scanning. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay! Ryder, can you go reset it? Closing the scanner, exiting. There! Resetting it's reset! Relay. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. All we did was reset a relay. That's such a hard job. It's, uh... Feels like it was built by Soviets. With everything exploding and catching on fire and stuff. Early in Andromeda and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Too rich, she says. It'll be fun, she says. <laughs> we won't die, they say. Helm control, report. She's short. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. Big ship, a lot of people. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Energy cloud. I feel like the proper term would be plasma. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Oh, well, she's right. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My God. It does feel a little more. Is that our golden world? Organic. Having been That's Habitat 7. New Earth. 2017. Instead of whenever Mass Effect 3 came out, 
I think it was 2012. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. It does look bad. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. 634. Sam. Yes, 2012. The energy from the phenomenon <laughs> is dumping our senses. <laughs> Planetary conditions are on there. Fan after all. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team yeah, should make be awake it by quick. now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Explore the planet. Yeah, do it quick. Yes, sir. Hurry up. You have to do that in two hours instead of three. Be back before lunch. A stubborn one, isn't he? Uh, uh, to be fair, I was in the Alliance military. I was gone. Your guess is as good as mine. We may be related, but I still haven't figured him out. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. I mean, you're looking at something. You're not blind. You're looking at the planet. You might not have scans on the planet. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So? Let's get out there and find her some. One minute. Right. You'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. As a member of the Pathfinder team, you play a critical role in the Andromeda Galaxy. Efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy fall on your shoulders. Golden World Site Verification, Reconnaissance and Mapping, Scientific Analysis, Potential First Contact with Extraterrestrials, Establishing Diplomatic Relations, General Support of Settlements and Outposts. Basically, you gotta do shit. Water cooler? We scanned it. Better not. No bathroom breaks in this trip. <laughs> Looks so, like Dad's already suited up. You can't uh, go dehydrated. It's choosing dehydration instead of. Got it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble. Hey, Ryder. Kirkland. Andrew. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah, I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? Yeah, I mean, that's what we know. Tough to say. Sensors can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. Yeah, it'd be a shame to go through all this training and not put it to good use. See you guys in the ride down. the armory. It's another data pad. First contact protocol. In the event of any member of the Pathfinder team encountering intelligent alien life, it is imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. Aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated and Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. Armor. 
I've seen my share of the Milky Way, and I've never come across anything like it. Oh, so just another boring day at the office, huh? The nap wasn't long enough. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. Hell of a wake-up call. Kind of wish I'd hit the snooze button and slept another day. For a year. You'd miss all the good parts. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. I prefer to eat lunch, not be lunch. You're not a real explorer till you've got some scars or bite marks. On that note, time to get to the shuttle. Alrighty then. I do not like this having to press and hold. I can't just press the button and get it over with. Dr. Carlisle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. That was Sir, a lot of we broke out the, the weapons as there. requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. Yeah, yeah. She better. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. But don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud of both of you. His face. Okay, team, listen that was up. Exaggerated. I was going to give a speech to you five the people. Team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, Carbon they will. Fancy. They'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Need subtitles. Been waiting 600 years for this. Anybody strapped in? It, is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so. Dark energy. Ooh. First, we had to make up element zero, and now we've got dark energy. Gravity anomalies detected. think with only 20,000 people on this big of a project, you would at least, like, know, at least, like, names going ahead? Like, oh yeah, Costa, I think I've ever seen that. Here we go. This guy's legit.
copy that. It doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We had this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. <laughs> Right, that is that is interesting. It has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien Cora, Liam, Father. Has anyone Island. seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Well, what's hostile intent for us might not be hostile intent for them. Without wings, we're now gonna fall like a brick. This is why I asked, why isn't anyone Why isn't, why isn't anyone built it in? Acceleration increasing. No kidding! There's drama! The jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Sam! Is that like a spray film of instant dry glue? Or is he like using a laser to read out the glass and he just dried his eyeballs? Now they just said it was below oxygen requirements, but not necessarily below pressure. But leaking like that obviously tells us atmospheric pressure is a lot lower than whatever his suit pressure is. This is Ryder. Come in. Hyperion, Sam, anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did we really do that? Or are we dead and don't know it? Well, we found hell. I can tell you that much. That was yeah. nice, like, did that really just happen? No way this is home. I know. Question for the helmet design. Since I'm supposed to be the uh, science inside the science like fiction guy. Why is the glass go the all line. the way up? Come on. You can't see up there. It's just a weak point. Like, right why is it just How's your survival training? a visor? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra Incognita. Some of these plants look like tentacles. Is the water here even water? Those are very valid questions. Like, don't touch the water. You don't know if it's water. There's our comm device. No fixing this. Must have broken on impact. Explains why we lost our sound connection. Scanning unknown technology and life forms. Damaged in the crash. No good to us now. Right. Didn't he say something about the plants? Yeah, we gotta scan the plants. Well, without Sam, it's hard to say exactly what this is. It's sort of a plant, and maybe dead, but maybe not. Alright, well that's a thing. I think now that we've made landfall, pun intended. Oh, and safety tip. Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. Since we have made landfall, perhaps uh, this is the point where uh, I call it an episode. You think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this? Sam said it's dark energy. But that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. There, I just got a little save indicator. I'm gonna call this. Uh, see if I can 
get a little uh, screenshot for the thumbnail there. I'm going to call that an episode. Thank you for uh, participating and dealing with my frustration over EA. Hopefully, this won't turn out to be too bad. I am curious how different the deluxe edition sorry, my air quotes were a little low deluxe edition will be compared to the regular Mass Effect Andromeda I played on console back when it first came out and I still played on consoles nope, don't work alright anyway pretty hardy